Thank you. Uh, Honorable Professor Rosberg, right? Vice Chancellor and uh, faculties, students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Okay, first of all, I want to read a letter from uh, our country general, Dr. Sun Dali, at our uh, at our can, how to say on behalf of the Consul General this is the uh, in Chinese and in English first in Chinese 2015年是中南两国首脑确定的南非中国年对汉斯中南传统友谊具有重要意义约翰尼斯堡大学及孔子学院举办此次曼德拉画展将为中南两国在人民领域的交流与合作做出积极贡献预祝曼德拉画展圆满成功孙大利博士中华人民共和国祝约翰尼斯堡总领事二零一五年四月 in English According to the agreement reached by President Xi Jinping and uh, President Jacob Zuma, during President Xi's state visit to South Africa in 2013. The year of 2015 is designated the year of China in South Africa, which will play a significant role in promoting and consolidating the traditional friendship between China and South Africa. The art ex exhibition of Nelson Mandela, hosted by the University of Johannesburg and its Confucius Institute, will surely make a positive contribution to the people to people and the culture exchanges and the cooperation between the two countries. I wish the art exhibition a great success. Dr. Sundali. Consul General of the People's Republic of China in Johannesburg, April 2015. That's the word from our Consul General. So then, the word from my own. You know, uh, this is my first time to come to the University of Johannesburg, and also my first time to speak uh, before faculty and students. You know, because I have already graduated from university nearly 20 years. <laughs> so maybe I'm a little bit old. <laughs> so, so I am you because you are so young and so energetic. Uh, it also reminds me my, my those good days. I also was young and energetic, but uh, actually speaking, I'm very poor in those days. After I graduated from university, I don't have house of my own, and I don't have class of my own. But uh, I also have very strong confidence in the broader future, my, fu uh, my future. I have strong confidence in our country's future. So after 20 years, I think maybe my dreams have come true. Yeah, that's my sincere, uh, my sincere words from my own to the students lived, uh, sitting here. You know, at the, uh, thank you. As a representative of diplomatic missions in, from China, I have been working in Johannesburg over one year. After I have arrived in uh, South Africa, I was astonished by the beautiful scenery here, about the fast development in South Africa, and by the friendship and uh, the uh, kindness of the people here. 
So I am very enjoyed the time I in South Africa. During the last year, it's my work uh, and cooperation with the local authority and the local community here is very, is very well. And uh, also, as you know, in recent years, our two countries' bilateral relations also developed, developed very smoothly and fruitfully. I hear I want to share with you some uh, big development between our two countries. You know, as both are emerging economy in the world, and both are countries of BRICS, South Africa and China, in recent years, we have built a bilateral relationship, we call it comprehensive strategic partnership. That is the first one in the, South, in the African continent. We have established such an all-round cooperation between the countries. That's the first one. And another one is, you know, just as I has me have mentioned, the last year is the year of South Africa in China. And uh, this year is the year of China in South Africa. So we both hold a, we call a country year in each, other's can, uh, each other country. This is also the first country in the African continent we have hold uh, this kind of uh, events. So there's only one, respect, one prospect of uh, our bilateral relationship. So I also want to give you some inf uh, data uh, between our two countries. As you know, uh, maybe trade is connected with our daily life. So for the trade volume between two countries, the 2013 has reached uh, 65 billion US dollars. And the last year, uh, more than 60 billion US dollars. This volume nearly account for the one third of size, the trade volume between China and the whole African countries. So you can, from this, Data, you can see what's important, what's the significance where our bilateral, bilateral relations are. And also for the investment. In nowadays, maybe if you go to supermarket, you go to shopping malls, you will see a lot of Chinese commodities. And uh, maybe if you go to some uh, like uh, some uh, tourist uh, attractions like Cape Town, Durban, even in San City, even in Johannesburg, you will meet a lot of Chinese tourists come to the South Africa. The, for the investment, at uh, our embassy's statistics, up to now, I mean from the, our uh, established establishment of our foreign ties in 1999, uh, in 1998, up to now, the investment from China, I mean stock, nearly, uh, it's, over, it's over 12 billion US dollars. So this investment have created jobs directly or indirectly more than 30,000 jobs. That means China, businessmen doing business here, Chinese companies and Chinese entrepreneurs come to South Africa with their investment, with their expertise, with their wisdom, and with their friendship. So our relationship is really beneficial and it's really on the principle of reciprocity. 
why I emphasize this state. It also connects with the current social situ situation. You, you know what I mean. So foreigners, foreign investors, in, and foreign entrepreneurs come here. They're not doing business or money for themselves. They also create uh, revenue for the government, create job opportunity for local community, and also like uh, artist uh, Li Bing, give you like uh, epic <coughs> painting. It's a masterpiece of Chinese traditional, right? Uh, yesterday, I just uh, returned from the Free State. In the Free State, they also uh, host a serious event, uh, a big event. It com it's, uh, in the field of uh, culture, in the field of uh, com uh, commercial, and in the field of uh, trade. They also want to attract uh, Chinese invest in investors. I also talked with the premier and uh, with the commissioners here there. So I think South Africa it is a, had a very bright future. And uh, also Chinese companies up to now more than 120 Chinese big companies like uh, Zunda, just mentioned by the chancellor. Uh, like uh, uh, Bank of China, like uh, Sino Steel, they have uh, they doing very good business in South Africa. So I want I also urge the local uh, Chinese community community to uh, doing business uh, abiding by South African law and uh, make contributions to the local communities and to the local peoples. This year, uh, also have a very big uh, event here is, it's the sixth military conference will held in South Africa, maybe in Joburg later this year. Our president or the, our premier will pay us a visit to the South Africa. So I think through uh, this kind of event and through this visit, it will further strengthen our cooperation between two countries. And it will also deepen our uh, cooperation in the field of cultural, trade, tourism, technology, and science, etc. So uh, this exhibition is only one ring of this, uh, this uh, series of events. I hope all of you can, can work with us. We can work, a jo we can work a, uh, to our effort to promote our bilateral relations because it's mutual beneficial. It's, uh, it's really uh, conducive for not only the, the country, but, only, but also for all of us. Finally, uh, I, wish, I wish all this experiencing is a good success. I'm also, myself, eager to see the, this masterpiece. Uh, have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.